Well, hey guys, it's Forever Elite here, and welcome back to another video. Now, today's going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, but I've decided that I want to make a video basically portraying my entire Mindplex journey as a staff member. Now, this is what the title says, and I just think that this is a good time to do it. And, honestly, being on the Mindplex staff team is it has been quite a good journey, and I'm proud to share it with you guys. So, I will be doing that today. Now, none of this would have ever been possible without my good friend, Cody1215. You guys might know him as Briskers. Anyway, basically it all started when he told me that he was a staff member on Mindplex. And I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. I never really cared about Mindplex until he told me that he was staff. And so I was like, yeah, sweet dude, let's play. I kind of want to see your tag, so... So he showed me. We played some Dominate, and that was back when Helper was still green, and back in the good days of not much staff drama, and he was like, dude, I really kind of want you to be on the staff team, and I'm like, oh, well, I don't have a rank, so I can't really afford a rank right now, and he's like, that's fine. He just went ahead and bought me Ultra, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, I didn't, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, he told me he was going to buy me Ultra, and honestly, just a few days later I had ultra and I was just kind of speechless I didn't realize what exactly had just happened in the past few days but I was like sweet I guess I'm an ultra now I can go for staff and that's exactly what he wanted me to do and I've I played on the server long enough with him that I really got back into it and so I'm like okay yeah I haven't been staff since infinity worlds which was my server way back when I I owned it with some of my friends for a few years and some of that stuff went down but that's a different topic anyway I made an application and being a writer I've always wanted to do the best that I could possibly do in any sort of writing application <laughs> so I ended up writing about eight paragraphs as for my very first training application so I'm like I didn't really know exactly what I was doing so I was just kinda of stewing in my own little just anxiousness I guess of whether or not I would be a staff member on the largest server in the world and then I got a message it was a message and it was crazy because they actually showed interest in me they thought that I would maybe actually be a decent staff member and so they sent me a little message it was that his name was Theo um, Theo and he was the guy that interviewed me and I was really anxious but they sent me he sent me a letter he said a hey, elite leader 99 which was my name at the time he's like we we really want to interview you for your interest in being on the staff team and I was like sweet that's pretty awesome I can't that'd be really awesome I can't believe I've actually got that far and so I interviewed him and it was pretty nerve-wracking I didn't know what I was doing I I was didn't quite know what to say but I guess the words just kind of came out and spoke for themselves and it came down to one question that kind of freaked me out he's like what is your favorite game on my blacks and I didn't quite know exactly what my favorite game was at the time so I kind of just blurred the very first thing that came to my head which was capture the flag and of course my blacks didn't have capture the flag so that was kind of like what the heck did I just do so I was kind of freaking out about that I didn't realize if I'd be accepted or denied because of that and I guess I just kind of left it up there in the air and finally the day after Christmas December 26th 2014 I was finally accepted I took the job as a helper and I was crazy I was like I can't believe I actually got in and I was accepted. I was being, I, I remember, I was being, I was in a Skype call with my friends Tate and Sammy, Rederation, Destined to Fail, and I just happened to go on engine. I'm like, oh, I've been accepted. I was just freaking out. And Tate, first thing he said is he's like, dude, congratulations. And the other one said, dude, you should definitely go on a banding spree. So I'll let you guys decide who said which. But <laughs> that's beside the point. He was, they were just joking. Anyway. But yeah, so I took the job as a helper, um, December 26, 2014, it was, it was such a great day, it was like a, like, Christmas present for me, and it was crazy, I was, I just didn't know what to do at that point, it was, I was standing, I remember, I was standing at the exact block 
on Shattered Kingdom, which you guys can see right here. This was the exact place that I was standing when I first read that I had become a helper on my legs. And I didn't know what to do. So after a few days, I just read all the documents that we were assigned to do and was familiarizing myself with everything. And then this awesome girl messaged me. She said, are you Elite Leader 99? And I'm like, yeah, I am. She's like, oh, well, I'm going to be your mentor for your two-month journey. And I'm like, oh, sweet. So her name was Savannah, and she went by the name of Soverly, actually. That was her name. And so I'm like, okay, cool. That was going to be pretty sweet. And her chat was awesome. I met so many great friends. The, many of the friends that I still have today were in that batch. And <laughs> I, I still remember staying up really late when I was supposed to be doing my homework, just Skyping with my friends and messaging them. And, and it was such an awesome time. And she really taught me a lot. And I was answering those questions that day is awesome and perfectly. And... Then it came down to that one day that I discovered that Silverly had resigned from training manager or helper management at the time. So I was kind of devastated with that. I didn't quite know exactly what would happen to me after she resigned. So I kind of just let it hang in the air. And I was taken in by Tigley, who I decided I probably wouldn't be a very good fit with him because he didn't know me and I didn't know him. And so I decided that I just wanted to be moved to MJ Cat who was a mentor that was in my mentee group and I had gotten to know him and we happened to live in the same town actually so yeah I started to be mentored by MJ and and I prospered for that next month I just I really did prosper I was doing very well and and soon I found myself at the end of the trial test and I had printed out a set of my punishment guidelines which I actually still have to this day the very old 2014 version of the punishment guidelines still printed out in my closet and I was just studying those like all the time I just really wanted to get a good score and so it was about that time at the end of trial test that I was like okay I got this I think I can do this and yeah I was I couldn't I didn't really know exactly how I did on the test I think I did pretty well but after a while Byron messaged me Byron messaged me on March 13th of 2015, and so it was quite a bit, it was a few weeks after my trial, and I was just freaking out, but he messaged me, he's like, hey man, do you think you can talk? And I'd be like, yeah, definitely, and so we got onto TeamSpeak, and he told me that I'd been accepted as a moderator of Mindplex, so I was like, alright, no more SRs, I have a lot more freedom, and I was just really happy, and then I got my mentor my mod mentor his name was mindplex vibes now vibes underscore and it was really awesome he was a great guy he always checked up on me and unfortunately he resigned from the staff team a while back but uh he was a really solid guy and i had really gotten to like him after a little while he just really showed that he did care about my trial and my mindplex career so that was pretty cool but I still couldn't shake the feeling that I really wanted to be on the trainee helper management team. And finally, one day after waiting many, many weeks, my dream came true when Byron, the helper management admin, posted the amounts in chat that he wanted some new mentors for the US. So it was about this time when my family had been going through some difficult stuff and I kind of just locked myself away and just worked on my application. It was all day. I was working very hard on it. It was a four pages long. It was about 1,500 words or so. And I was like, all right, sweet. I think I may actually have a chance at this. And he messaged me. He messaged me a few weeks later. He's like, hey, man, do you think I could give you an interview about your interest in joining the helper manager team? I'm like, oh, yes, definitely. So I interviewed him, and I kind of just told him everything I told him on my application. And and after the interview, he messaged me about a week later, and I discovered that I had a new Mindplex tag, and that was Senior Mod. And that was just such an amazing day. It was crazy. I got helper management on April 29th of 2015. That was such a great day. I got Senior Mod, and I, more importantly, I got my dream team of becoming a helper management mentor. 
I also got accepted along with my good friend Sarah and another guy named Lieutenant Hesh, which have unfortunately both resigned from training management. So a while later, I got my first mentees. I was about to go to camp, so I wasn't able to do a full two-month trial, so I got a few mentees that were actually abandoned also by their mentors. So I'm like, all right, cool. I guess I'll just be uh, mentoring these people that have kind of the same similar background to me. So I was really excited for that. It was my first mentees, and I was treating them very carefully. And these these mentees really taught me a lot. Um, they were MM Champ, Panda Mines, Captain Martin, Lava Pancakes, Barber, 2012, Chad Plays, Fluffy Big Boy, and Abigail. Some of them are no longer on the team, and some of them are still on the team. So it's pretty thankful for that. So I went to camp after they had all graduated. Um, some of them didn't, but I guess you can't always get all of them. But I went to camp for about five weeks. This was a Christian camp located in the Rocky Mountains from Colorado, from where I live. And I guess something just wasn't right. I kind of figured out that maybe this is not the best time for me just to be a staff member on Mindplex. I kind of had gotten, kind of gotten just a little bit sidetracked with Mindplex. It's take, it was like starting to take over my life and I didn't exactly know how to deal with that. I just didn't realize that how many hours I had spent on Mindplex, how many days I've wasted. I've wasted almost a straight month on Mindplex and that is crazy. School was starting pretty soon and basketball season is starting pretty soon so I was like I don't know if I really want to do this and as you guys hopefully know I am actually a Christian and I do strive to get my relationship with God very first and it was suffering because I was feeding my other idol which was Mindplex and that was just not good so I got to thinking maybe I shouldn't be on the team and after many 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 months of thinking I was kind of just thinking, I don't know exactly what I want to do. And my friend Tomato, his name's Thomas, but I like, kind of gave him the name of Tomato. He's like, dude, you need to realize that we're both... Oh, he was on the staff team at the time. So he's like, dude, we need to realize that this is taking up so much time. And our relationship with God is just... Your rela or my relationship, I guess, was just suffering. And I didn't know how well to take that because my flicks was kind of like all I knew for the past nine months or so and so he's like okay well how about we both resign and we'll work on this together and so I'm like okay it's probably a good idea so this was from the time I'm making this video this was about a month and a half ago and I didn't want to abandon my mentees that I had currently so I finished up and waited for my last mentee Tonal which he is now a mod now to graduate from my group and he did. So I kind of made a deal with the training management managers and the admins at the time that I would resign once Tone all leave left. Um, I didn't want to tell any of you guys. I'm telling, talking to you, my mentees right now. I didn't want to tell you guys at the time because I didn't want this to hurt our friendship as it was. I didn't want you guys to be distracted with the thought that I was going to be leaving as soon as you guys were done. But unfortunately, it's how it had to be. So, yep. That's kind of how it was, and I then have made the difficult choice to resign from my senior mod job on Mindplex. It's been a great time, and I really did enjoy every single little moment of it, and honestly, it's with a heavy heart that I'm saying that I really will miss you guys. I was told that, after Tonal resigned, I was told that I need to either resign within the next days, day or two, or else I'd be kicked off the team. Because the manager at the time told me that they don't want their reputation hurt because I'm kind of just a mentor not taking any mentees. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll resign so you don't hurt your reputation. So at that time, I was, I was like, okay, well, this is what I've been thinking over. I didn't exactly think I was going to get kind of kicked off and have having this betrayed feeling so soon, but I guess it's what it is. But, oh well, I guess that's just how it is. So yes, guys, it is at this time I am resigning from the Mindplex staff team. I am no longer be a senior mod, no longer be mentoring anyone. And I just found that my dream job really wasn't as much of a dream. And 
the senior mod teams that I had joined was not as good as I really thought it was going to be. I really did enjoy it, but I was also realizing that I've been wasting hours and hours on it, and I just don't think that was very good for me. So that's it, I guess. I'm just kind of leaving now. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to come to this, but I kind of realized that sometimes you need to put your life first because my Plex staff team is fun. It really is. But there comes a time when you spend so much time on it that your family life, your friendships, your relationship with God, at least my in my case, just starts to suffer. And I realized that it's not good for me to continue to be on the staff team. So guys, I do really appreciate your continuous support. This will not affect my YouTube channel at all. I will continue to make content what, like all the time, as much as I have been. And I will not ever forget any of the friendships you guys have done. I'm still going to be playing Mindplex. I will still be making videos on it. But I will not be as active. And I will not be as a staff member. So that's kind of where I stand right now. It's been quite a hard few days, I guess, and months of my life, and just trying to get rid of this thing that I've really known for so long, and nearing my one month anniversary, or my one year anniversary, it's kind of difficult to let go from something that you've spent so much time on, so much amounts of your life invested in, but that's just the way it has to go, I guess. Anyway, guys, I really do hope that this tribute video has gone well here's a few screenshots and stuff of my entire journey as well as some selfies with my with some people that i've been able to meet and i guess this is it guys don't forget to look in the description i have a link to a letter that i wrote just just kind of describing all this stuff and my engine profiles in there if you guys want to friend me and stuff and yeah so it's at this time guys so long